I'm Sarah Burr with uh, TechCrunch, and I'm here with Ilad Inbar, the CEO of Robot Lab. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about? We've got this tiny, tiny little man. He's a robot. Can you tell me a little bit more about him? Yes, sure. Uh, this is a robot that's called Now, N-A-O, uh -huh. and it's a fully programmable. Uh, it's a platform for developers to create uh, whatever they want. Uh, the robot is fully capable. It has a lot of sensors, uh, like uh, cameras that can differentiate your face from my face. It can detect objects. It can uh, pick up things. Uh, the robot can be connected to the internet and so on. And developers it can be t connected to the internet. Yes, and the, yeah, you can you ask. Know, look up things like yeah, it's like a, my own personal robot Siri. Yeah, robot Siri. That's okay. a thing. Yeah. Okay. And not only that, I mean, you can program the robot to do whatever you want. So bring you beer from the fridge, or you know, drive a car, or this whatever. Robot you want. can also get me drunk. Yes. There's quite a few of those robots trying to get us drunk right now. Yes, and uh, we have an open bar here. We just, wrote, we, just, we just wrote an article about robots getting us drunk. Um, yeah. So what, what else can it, what are, the, what are uh, some other practical apl applications of this robot? We sell it to uh, universities and schools as um, a research and development uh, platform. And uh, we have teachers and professors that are teaching robotics, computer science, math, physics, and so on using this robot. Wait, the robot is teaching us math, physics, and science? Yes. I mean, not the robot is not the teacher. Okay, the teacher are using the robot in order to teach math, physics, and science, STEM in general. Oh. And this is something which is very interesting because kids are not interested in just you know equations. They're interested in these kind of things. They want to program them, and then they have to understand that you know there is equations here. And if you want to make the robot stand up, okay, it's about physics. If I were a kid, I would much rather want to learn about physics and science from that's, a robot. That's a thing. Yeah, uh, you know what, you, uh, the robot also drives the car. We saw it driving around earlier. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So it's a new program that we are launching at uh, TechCrunch Disrupt today, uh, where the robot uh, got his own um, uh, BMW Z4, mm -hmm. um, a sports car, and the robot uh, can just drive it. Uh, there is a laser rangefinder under the, under the car, mm -hmm. and the robot detects the obstacles around it and makes decisions based on that. So it's just kind of like a Google self-driving car. Yes, and the idea is to, to provide that to developers and let developers, everyone in the community, to start practicing these kind of, of algorithms. We don't have to wait until Google will release their SDK for cars. I mean, we can start doing it today. You can start doing that today. Yeah, and it's here and it's running, yes. So now your own private driver is a, is a reality your, today. Yeah, your private chauff chauffeur, yeah. Okay, the, the only one thing is uh, that I want to know is how long does this robot last? So you, I, I'm assuming it's on a charge. Yes. And how long does the charge last? So the battery uh, lasts in the driving mode uh, around one and a half hours. Okay. Um, in this kind of mode where the robot is stand up and dance and so on, uh, it's uh, something like one hour. Uh, if the robot is sitting down, then it can last uh, four and five hours. So it, it really depends on how much current we draw from the battery. Okay. Are you are you working on improving the the time in which the robot can? Yeah. yeah. This is this is actually the, an improvement, and there will be more and more improvements. And, and this and is the prototype right now, right? It, it, yeah, it's commercially available. It's not just a prototype. How, mu how much does this uh, robot actually cost right now? Eight thousand uh, dollars. Well, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, so you can have your own private driver for eight thousand dollars. Plus the car. Uh, pl oh, plus plus the uh, plus the baby car. Yes. Okay, are you, do you have plans on making an adult-sized robot? Um, not right now, but eventually, yes. I mean, it, it will be everywhere. We know that. We see the Google cars, you know, driving the 101 up and down all the time. So, yeah. so it will be there. That's cool. not the uh, question. Where, where are you based out of? Um, I'm Israeli, but based in San Francisco. Okay, um, so this is available U.S. based. US, yeah, everywhere. Wow, I can yeah. see uh, it could be wildly popular. Well, let's let's kind of uh, can we pull the car out and maybe uh, show demonstrate yeah. how it works? Yeah. He's such a cute little guy. I immediately, I just, uh, just for context, I went and chased him down because I saw the, the car driving around and this cute little robot. Okay, all right, let's see how this works. He's got, uh, this, does this matter? He's got like his pot on the Okay, okay. Uh, he's just trying to avoid obstacles in front of it. Okay. And then he will start driving. And whenever there is uh, an obstacle, it will stop. Oh, yeah. Or go back. He won't hit you. That's yep. amazing. You heard it here first, Robot Lab. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm talking with Ilan, the CEO. Yep. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah.